great school, unbelievable space. And we love the architecture. Even when we are not doing that kind of art, we are more, our art is more up-to-date kind of digital at the moment. I think that the students are all spoilt brats compared with us when we were baby artists. We just <coughs> had scrappy studios that, that were smelly and run down and filled with tobacco smoke. And we, we were students in the age of, of, of a totally different time. Uh, well, we were planning it and showing the MA Fine Art Exhibition at the New Art Gallery, Walsall, and at the same time, the Royal Academy 250th anniversary is afoot. And I was asked by the Royal Academy if we would like to have a Royal Academician talk at Walsall to celebrate the 250th birthday. So what I thought was, let's put the two things together. How great would it be for artists like Gilbert and George to be present at the preview for the MA Fine Art to give those 20 fine art students such a boost to be there at their final exhibition. We're amazed that they're very, very proficient. They're artists ready for gallery for galleries, showing. museums, everywhere have to go out and try to sell them. When we were baby artists, we, didn't, we weren't like that. We were entirely different because we were, most art students tend to be, at least in our generation, tended to be middle class. So they had a family safety net, and we were both from lower class backgrounds, so we had, we had to succeed. There was nothing else. And so we just got involved in ourselves, in our feelings, in our hopes, in all of the subjects that we felt were universal and inside of all of us. So we began to deal with death, cope, life, fear, sex, money, race, religion, and from there on. Tomorrow morning, the student, when he gets out of bed, sit on the edge of the bed, keep your eyes closed, and don't stand up, don't open your eyes, until you've decided, what do I want to say to the world today?